Hello, Libra. Okay, so I did a poll, and then all of you guys equally said that you want to hear from your exes. So let's let's get into that, Libra. Let's hear from your exes. Now I'm gonna give off some vibes astrologically, and this may relate to their sun, moon, or rising. So don't count your ex out if the sign doesn't show up. Just look for the vibe of the sign that I'm talking about. And this reading applies for you if you're a uh, Libra, sun, moon, rising. All right, take take what you need. Leave what you don't. Leave what you don't. You're about to get some some uh, messages here. All right, so how your current ex feels about you. Let's check in on them. Let's check in on how they feel. This is rel them related to you. Okay? So, ooh, surprise. We got Uranus going on. Libra, Uranus is your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. This could also um, mean some Aquarius energy. This person could be an Aquarius, have some Aquarius placements, and you know, so that's very like poker face like. They're never going to show you how they really truly feel if it's a vulnerable type feeling, um, and if it's very sensitive, they're not going to. It's not going to come out. It's not going to come out of their face if you're if they're an ex, right? Very cold, very distant, very done. Okay, but this is Uranus energy. Okay, it's it's about surprises. So let's hold on to that. Your next sign is Taurus. All right, the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. You also have a stubborn. You also have a stubborn type X. What am I thinking about when it comes to them? They might be about their money. They might be about their business right now. They might be about, you know, being stubborn because they're so, would I say hurt? Dare I say hurt? I feel like, what, what are you stubborn about? You know, like, what, what is your issue? Because we already have Uranus there. We already have Aquarius energy. There's cold energy. Now there's stubborn energy. I'm wondering what, what you know, because this person otherwise would be a lover, just like you. They're ruled by the planet Venus. So I'm like, what, what, what's the deal? What's with the vibe? Then we have Leo energy and the energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. There it is. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. So it's giving us somebody who's a kind of, too dramatic for their own liking so if you left on a bad note um this person may be enlightened but this person's very stubborn and this person's very egotistical very self-involved or okay i shouldn't say egotistical they, they could just be very confident so they could be depending on how it ended it could be very like you did be dirty i have a lot more self-respect <laughs> you know i'm not you know maybe you they were, were the one trying to get you back they were desperate sad Surprise, you know, this person's now put on some muscle, some t testosterone's got them going, and they're either feeling a little more confident, a little more stubborn, a little more s stable. Um, but also, they also believe in themselves or have an air of confidence. It might be seeming, I wouldn't say arrogance, I'd say more like bravado with them. So they might be coming off like everything's real good, just keeping up appearances. You know how Leos do. Um, but Taurus, it just would suggest that they, they actually have it like that. You know, it's not just the front. So let's have a look at the spread. See how your current, how your ex is currently feeling about you. Not your current partner. How your ex is currently feeling about you. Let's, let's, let's just, hmm. Oh, snap. No wonder. No wonder they're so cold. No wonder they're so, about this we got that five of pentacles they felt blind they felt left in the cold they felt abandoned you know they feel they felt abandoned at some point by you if not maybe those are the lingering feelings coming from the past that they feel towards you but they felt like they got shunned snubbed they had to turn away like people turned away from them because of you but overall like mostly it's the abandonment that's the the big issue there um, just feeling like losing their sense of community. Maybe with you, they lost a bunch of friends, a bunch of allies, ties to places and and things and people that, you know, it could it could be that they messed up too, and then they lost all that other stuff. Like they lost access to your family, your brother, your friends, your other friends, your friends of friends, friends that 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 that. They didn't think it through, so they feel shut out, left in the cold. Okay, and then we have the hero and another five. The Hierophant is in reverse, but it is associated with Taurus. So you know the Hierophant is a very spiritual sign, somebody who's very enlightened. I try to ignore it with that Uranus energy, with your your potential sudden change, enlightenment energy. But I feel like this person may have a different perspective. You never know. Because we have a lot of like 
surprise things are different. And what would be a surprise if this person's personality did 180, but they also still have strong. It's you know what you know what it gives. You know what it gives. Surprise! I worked out a lot. Now I look like I look like an Adonis or something or a complete babe. And now you can't even tell me nothing. Now you know. And then the ego is out of control at first. So I feel like this person comes from, it comes rooted in a deep hurt of feeling abandoned. And um, this person who is supposed to be one to commit, one known for their commitment, is doing a opposite type thing. Maybe a dedicated non-committal period in their life. This person's laughing though, and there's a stairway to what what looks like isn't the same thing as their Uranus. So surprise, 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 surprise. So there's like this like enlightenment about this person, and it's good because maybe when you knew them, they weren't very confident. Maybe they were insecure about stuff and took it out in the relationship, and then now you see them, they're more confident. But you're like, okay, that's good. No, that's good. That's good, because then if they're confident how they feel about me, if they don't want nothing to do with me, it's like, okay, good for you, I guess. Ace of Wands, this person has a new fire lit under them. I feel like they're starting some new chapter in their life. They're in the midst of it. They're in the throes of it. But I feel like when it, it's, all, it's like relative to you, it's just, I guess maybe they're just doing something that they were never doing when they were with you or around you. You know, they're getting it started, but if that fire still feels like that excitement of a Leo, like they're in tune or they're locked in or like they're inspired they're in this particular time. This person is ooh, not taking relationships, romance very seriously because Page of Cups, very immature, very inexperienced. This person may just be in exploration mode, in research mode, in trying to figure things out, figure out what they like now that they feel the way they feel about themselves. Feels like a glow up, doesn't it? Feels like a new line of thinking. Like, like they were enlightened in some way, but it just feels more physical because Taurus is just right after there and Taurus is very, very protein, <laughs> a very protein based sign. Uh, but the Page of Cups does suggest that there's love and tenderness in the heart, but I, it might, again, that, that it usually comes from some dark, deep place where it's like, I felt betrayed, you know, and then I have the motivation to try to make a change, to break a cycle, um, to, start, to be inspired to, you know, break my non-committal ways or, or change my commitment ways to being lighter and taking life as it comes but there are feelings connected to this and the feelings are not upright so I feel like it's like I felt sad about it so I'm trying to overcome it instead of oh I love this I'm doing it you know it's kind of like a I'm doing it to to overcome something I think they've been going through something they've been waiting for a long time for changes and I feel like just because this this when I asked I was like relate this to you if I relate this to you and them not just necessarily improving themselves, I feel like they've been improving themselves just to, you know, be a better person because of the situation with you. That they don't, maybe this is just that time to reflect. Is that five of pentacles where their head's hanging down and they're evaluating all that is lost and people that they thought would be there that weren't and they just have to go through it. And when they come out of it, they realize who they commit to, who they don't commit to, and they don't commit to everyone, they don't commit to everything. That they are a leader, whether they like it or not, in some ways, or, you know, they never chose that role, but they just have to be that role and they have to find a way upright. The hierophant that is, you know, giving direction and not taking it. The person that's very focused and very great at starting, doing, and finishing something and, and, and keeping the confidence of other people um, to the point where they come to them for advice. They come to this hierophant archetype for advice. So this person, I feel like they're just in a more enlightened space in their life and that that they have more excitement and more desire to act. And I feel like with that, I'm like, so then if, you, if you're in a better place, right, wouldn't you want to flex on a Libra? Wouldn't you feel like going and finding a Libra to flex on that, that's just reminding you of like your Libra that apparently left you out to dry? You know? It feels like it's one of those like the fire within them comes from that situation with you and it's like they're they're you know villain or, or was it villain origin origin story or like maybe they even appreciate that hardship or whatever it is and they have like this feeling of it being an old chapter of seeing how testing how weak they used to be versus how they are now but I feel like when they look think about you when they look back at that I feel like it's something that they had to overcome from within 
it feels like something they had to get through there's something they have to realize that they didn't want to commit as quickly or as heavily or something something about the commitment making sure that they vet properly or determining what they personally want for themselves because they're inspired and there is some sort of action unless they met someone or they're starting something new they're starting something 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 that's exciting to them and i guess something that uh feeds their ego because it, it just looks like i'm this is like non-committal i want to go dabble in the emotions so i want to kind of like you know play you know not be too serious nothing too serious not looking for casual looking for casual nothing too serious and I think that it's just because they've been waiting a long time. They just really want to be sure. We have that earthy energy with the Taurus for the theme. So I know that when it's kind of the hangman or waiting or any type of four, you already know that they, they those earth signs are slow because they like to take a good evaluation. They like to observe. They like to assess things before they actually commit to them. And I think that this is ultimately what that's about. If your person was non-committal before, I feel like they have reached a level of enlightenment to know when they're feeling inspired to commit or to explore things further. But also, this person has realized, if they were heavy, too heavy in the beginning, they realized how light, how the, the joy of having a light connection because they don't want to pick just yet. Because now they're precious cargo. Now they're fine wine. You know, I think they're really feeling good about their, their themselves, their ego, is what they brought to most of this. And I think that, you know, they're leaps and bounds ahead of thinking about how they can get back together or like maybe this is for that come up but i feel like this is like for the pre come back together this is just trying to gas themselves up it's even like they're trying to date around trying to see other what other people be saying about them the feedback and how they can treat this person how they should let me see because i want to assess myself from a standpoint of yeah my ex thought i was crazy my ex thought i wasn't good enough my ex thought i was and it's all just kind of stemming from where you left off with them but in some ways again they appreciate it they don't mind he told them where they needed to go and how to get there, and they did. Anyways, a little joke. But yeah, there it is. That's your reading, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and check out my Etsy shop. I got some candles, got some fragrance oils. Bring on some traffic onto my Etsy shop. They be charging fees up the wazoo, and for what? 